Okay, so just to provide another video, another example of this form, fascia release having an spasm effect, I just want to show something. So this is me just, you know, being in a lunge position, being relaxed, not being focused on releasing the fascia, and just being here. So at this time, I feel tension here where my thumbs are and then where the back's where my index fingers touch along the trap, along the upper trap muscles from about C4 to C1, I feel a lot of tension. It's very taut, it's very tight. I have to massage it by hand very often. That's just a little snippet. However, I want to show one more time, working on this forearm now, how it can trigger these spasms. So this area, now that I touch it, after the following, after the previous videos, you can see I had a few spasms occurring. So this area is a little tender. It hurts. The TMJ is tight. The right ear is ringing on and off now. So some of the fascia work I did and some of these spasms occurring had onset some ringing of the ear and then taken away that ringing of the ear. So it's really strange. I'm not familiar exactly with what's going on. I believe the levator scapula is responsible for some of these sensations and pain signals because I experience uh, I do experience pain and like a burning fatigue feeling also on the superior border of my scapula so there where the levator scapula attaches I do have fatigue I do have pain there so it makes me believe that it is that muscle possibly that's contributing to these issues however that's only one of the muscles there's unfortunately a lot of good and bad it's a good and bad thing that there's so many amazing muscles in this human body but for me unfortunately a lot of these muscles need a lot of work so without further ado after warming up the tissue getting some blood flowing it's just so taut so tight it's all very gritty it's all very bumpy none of it's smooth It's almost very painful. The more pressure I apply, the more pain I'll feel. That's for sure. I have to be, I have to gauge my pressure. I can feel the grittiness being very stubborn. It does not want to release. These knots are very tight, very taut. So I'm going to do a different variation. One that I found sort of works for me. So I press the ball in, I twist it. So I, t I rotate it counterclockwise. And then I extend out. And then I twist to the right. So I twist to the left. I apologize. <laughs> I twist clockwise. I was thinking of my right arm. So with this arm, with the left arm, I twist clockwise. And when I twist clockwise, let me show my neck before I miss these next spasms. You'll see some spasms occurring. So I press in, I turn clockwise. I extend out. I start to feel a lot of tension in my forearm. I feel tension in my pinky. I feel tension in the back of my hand here, on the side of my hand here. And then, Next spasms occur. I also will feel, you know, I feel tension occurring in the back of my right, my left shoulder. So I press in with the ball. I rotate clockwise. I extend my arm out forward, extending my fingers straight. And during this time, I, I keep my fingers extended out. I keep my elbow locked and now at this time I feel my left shoulder being very tight I feel my left trap muscle sort of being tight my right shoulder is a little tight from doing all this work but you can see that these spasms are occurring I press in with the ball rotate clockwise extend the arm out and as I extend out, 
I may have done that a little too fast. I still feel that tension in the side of my hand. This is an area where I w would have pain actually throughout the day. I get sharp pain here. And then now I relax myself. I try to focus on the fascia being released. I have this ball in a nice spot. And with time, the next spasms will be occurring. That was a small one. The back of my neck feels a little looser. It feels less uh, constricted. It feels less compressed. It feels a little easier to relax my neck back. It doesn't feel like there's as much in the way. So you can see, as I do these releases, I have a bit of uh, redness here. Nothing too dramatic. It's very tender. So I press in. I rotate clockwise. I extend out. And I still get these spasms. Now I'm wondering if that's because my right arm is engaged in this act. It's actually not, because when I relax this arm and do this technique on this side, at one of these points here, I press in, now I rotate counterclockwise, and I slowly extend out. I feel a lot of tension here. I can see my skin folding in, so it's a nice, it's a nice technique. It works for me quite well. I press in, I rotate clockwise, I extend out. And then I get spasms occurring. I get the back of my neck to feel a little tighter. I feel some tightness in the back of my right hand. So the back of my right hand will feel tightness, particularly in between the middle fingers, ring fingers, and pinky fingers. So on the predominantly on the left side, on the outside of my hand, I will feel more tension. I also feel tension evolving in my right shoulder. And that gives a summation of that. Once again, I feel tension here. I feel tension here, a little bit of tension here, in this general region of the trap muscle. And then I'll feel tension in the back of the neck. And then I'll have this TMJ pain going on. My TMJ will start to hurt. It'll start to give a really gnawing pain, a really nasty pain sometimes. And then I'll have eye pain going on. And ear, ear pressure is like very intense. It feels like someone's just mashing a like a pencil into my into my ear it feels also like just the whole side of my face hurts pretty much and somehow that happens while working on this region of my body and that's only one of the regions of the body that will trigger this you know in follow up videos you'll see many other spots that will onset this it's beyond me it's honestly I, I don't get it it's very stressful for me because I've been trying to figure this out now for a couple years. It's been it's been a long time since my surgery and that was in August of twenty seventeen. So now that I'm, you know, almost three years out of out of that moment, it seems like it's 
hard to believe that I'm still experiencing problems, but I am. You know, I got all I got ringing ears, pain in the eyes. I got sort of dehabilitated. I can't say that word right now. Dehabilitating uh, symptoms to the point where I can't drive freely. I can't lift heavy weights. You know, I can't lift heavy boxes for work, for example, for a simple job. I can't be like even a, any kind of driver for anyone. I can't sit for too long. I can now, you know, I can I tough through the pain. I've learned how to tough through the pain. You know, you have pain for three years, you learn to deal with it. Uh, it's, it's what it is at this point. But what I'm, what I just want to make note of is how I get these weird, really weird experiences and I'm going to keep making these videos.